This week, prosecutors outlined what they say was a hostile capture of a significant portion of Ohio state government. Now, powerful people allegedly behind that public corruption scandal face dozens of criminal charges. Here's Josh Krupp with Why It Matters. They worked to steal the power of government and bend it to the will of First Energy. Those were the words prosecutors used this week in their indictments of key players in the largest bribery scheme in Ohio's history. As a refresher and in a nutshell, the scandal involved First Energy paying out bribes to get a $1.3 billion bailout bill passed for a pair of nuclear power plants, including Davis Bessie and Oak Harper. We've already seen prison sentences handed down in the investigations, including for former House Speaker Larry Householder for accepting nearly $61 million in bribes to pass the bailout bill. But as Attorney General Dave Yost said this week, there can be no justice without holding the check writers and the masterminds accountable. Those alleged masterminds indicted on 27 combined felony counts this week. Charges against former First Energy executives, including the utility's former CEO, and this man, Sam Randazzo. He's the former chairman of the Public Utilities Commission. It's a five-member board that regulates utility companies. Prosecutors say Randazzo was essentially a Trojan horse for First Energy, taking over the state government in a way that allowed First Energy to regulate itself. Power is inherently seductive and corrosive. It was Governor Mike DeWine who appointed Randazzo to the board, but he denies knowing that Randazzo received a $4.3 million payment from First Energy right before he secured the position. Yeah, I have a great confidence in our judicial system. Let's let the system work. Uh, it will work. Uh, justice will be done, whatever that is. So a few suits and government officials face charges. So what? Well, parts of that bailout bill are still in place, including subsidies for coal plants in Ohio and Indiana. The price tag has a million dollars a day until 2030. Calls grew this week again to repeal that subsidy and refund you, the consumer. Those calls will continue, investigations will continue, court battles are just beginning. All while former government officials, energy executives, and you pay the cost of corruption. And that's why it matters. Josh Krupp, 13 Action News.